Welcome guys, if you haven't been to this channel, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm reading through the book of John and then through the rest of the New Testament. Um, and then from there I'm doing a small prayer afterward if you want to stick it through. Today is day 20 and we're going to be reading John 6, 53 through 71 and then we'll pray afterward. So here we go. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead, he who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Therefore many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can understand it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, Does this offend you? What then if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe, and who would betray him. And he said, Therefore I said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also, we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, for it was he who would betray him, being one of the twelve. So that's the end of 71. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, this is a hard saying that Jesus spoke about, eating his flesh and drinking his blood, Lord. That is spiritual. I thank you, Lord, for this. And give us revelation and give us endurance to to go through this and continue to read as, as many walked away. As you call them, Lord, you draw them in. Lord, I just pray that, that through hard sayings like this, Lord, we continue to stay with you. We may not understand, but we believe, Lord. We put our faith in you and trust in you. I thank you, Lord, for sending your son to die on the cross for us. Lord, I pray right now, anybody listening to this, that their spiritual eyes are opened. Give them ears to hear, Lord, what you are saying and what you ask of us. Lord, increase our faith. Holy Spirit, I pray that you are with us and constantly move in our lives and direct our paths. And I thank you, God. For all that you're doing, all that you will do, and everybody listening to this. God, I thank you for today. I thank you for our family, our friends, our work, and the missions you have for us, Lord. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you touch those who are listening to this right now. I also pray for healing upon anybody that's listening to this, to be completely healed in Jesus' name. We trust in you, Lord. There are many sayings that are going to come throughout the word, and that we're not going to like. We trust you. Please give us understanding, your wisdom, and your knowledge. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.